Hey guys, today we're going to be looking on how to install a graphics card. Um, in this particular case, we're going to be doing a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 Ti, and we're going to be taking out a 1070 that actually went bad, so we want to kind of get about the same performance, so we're just going to do that. Um, before you even do this, make sure you do get the right size uh, video card, especially for any type of pre-built or any type of case. Um, if you get one that's too big, it's not going to fit. If you get one that's too small, that's probably the better way to go anyway. So in this case, we actually do have a smaller gigabyte. You can see it's actually a bit smaller than the other one, than the arrow that we have in here already. Um, so let's just take it out, and I'll show you a little comparison. Um, the first thing we want to do is make sure everything's unplugged, at least from the computer itself, like the back part, um, just the power cable. Um, if you do hook up any other USB ports or anything, just unplug everything just to be safe. You don't want a static or um, any other shorts going on. So let's look here. So it looks like there's just two screws right here that um, go on. Now every case is going to be a little bit different, but this is just a good gist. You're pretty much going to have to remove the back panel plates that connect to the screws um, to the actual card itself. Now you can loosen those screws. So you're going to be whatever screws are here or that's connected to the graphics card. Sometimes they're even on the back cover on the other side. Maybe you have to pop that open as well. Um, but yeah, it's usually just about one or two screws. This one has, um, this one's taking up two slots, so it's going to be a little bit more. Um, so this one, just unplug it too, right here. Just like that. Okay, so then once you unplugged it, once you unscrewed it, um, you can just, you can push the little lever that's down here, and it, it makes it pop up. You can hear that little click right there. Once that's down, you pull straight up. Don't go to the sides, don't go up, or just go straight up. Okay, and there you go. It popped up and I was talking about this right here it's a little latch that you want to make sure you push you can, you can flip it like that you can see that so leave it open for now because we're just going to replace it with the other card um, with some cards they do have plastic on the back you want to take it off um, this one it doesn't but there is a cartridge case right here make sure you take that off okay and now uh, you just pretty much plug it back in same exact way it was before so we're gonna go uh, just line it up and it should go in exactly how it looks it shouldn't trick you or anything okay so just push a little bit in the back um, I don't have it in exactly fully yet but now since I, I have a good it's a good leverage I can just push down just here like that you heard a few clips that's great that means the bottom part clicked up and it did recognize it now we want to make sure we put the screws back Okay, so now it does look like you can shake it a little bit. It's pretty firm in place. It's not really going anywhere. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is make sure you plug in the 8-pin to the power supply. So this this is usually going to have a 6 and then a 2. You can just match it up. It's a click just like that. It goes right. Now you're good to go. You just took out the old graphics card and put in a new one. Um, now to go turn it on and make sure it all works. But that's about it, guys. That's how you install it. If you have any other questions, just please leave a comment below. If you want to see any other videos, just go check out our channel. We do have a bunch right now, more of a hardware, but we do have more software coming as well. And, uh, yeah, please uh, like and uh, subscribe as well. And thanks a lot, guys, for watching. You guys have a good one.